Do you know what? When I was a kid growing up in the 1970s, this was the only toy what did it for me. An under wonder clockwork diving submarine and it was built of steel. No other toy mattered. And every Saturday without fail I used to go down to a local toy shop and I'd stand outside that big toy shop window and I would be starstruck. I would look on with awe at this clockwork diving submarine. And I'd stand outside that toy shop for ages. But I could never afford one. Even though I had a paper round. And even today I'm a bit hard pushed to be able to afford one of these because the prices are absolutely crazy. But for a few brief weeks in 1976 this was the only thing that mattered to me. Uh, nothing else in the world mattered apart from one of these. Absolutely beautiful they are. And I'm fortunate enough to actually own two. Couldn't afford them as a kid, but nowadays a bit more disposable income I've managed to afford two. Uh, this one here is absolutely stunning condition. Never been out of the box till I got my hands on it. Beautiful. This one, again, it's never been in water. Absolutely perfect condition, but the uh, clockwork motor doesn't wind up. So it wouldn't actually work. But to be honest, these things are on eBay. Uh, well, I had a look a couple of days ago and there was there was a couple on for around £180. So would anyone actually put it in the water anyway? Uh, I don't think so. I just look at them. Every kid's dream in the 1970s. Beautiful. Um, I'll never sail these. Uh, I just received an email from my uh, from my website asking me if I'd uh, do a little video on these submarines. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, it's only a short video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you uh, want to check out my other under wonder submarines, which I've got quite a few, uh, different varieties, uh, quite a few different boats. Um, my website is in the uh, description somewhere, so take a look and see what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.